Thanks for joining me for this holiday episode of Restyle. I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs in Crystal Lake. On the last few episodes, we've talked a lot about the concept of redesign and ways that you can restyle things that you already own in your home to get a fresh new decorator look. And there's no better time of the year than Christmas to be able to do that for you. So today I have you in the home of one of my clients. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've done for them to get a great new look for the holiday season, especially focusing on their Christmas tree. And I hope you enjoy these tips. Today we're gonna to talk about the centerpiece of many holiday traditions, and that's the Christmas tree. They really became popular in Victorian England, and it's easy if you use the same stuff year after year to become tired of your tree. So today I thought I would share with you 12 of my favorite tips to create a terrific tree this holiday season. Before you can even get started, you need to do a little prep work first. And a great tip for starting up is to place an old sheet under the tree. It's gonna catch needles, whether you're using real or artificial tree. And then you can unfold it again when you're cleaning up after the season to catch those needles as well. And then you just tuck it under your tree skirt so it's hidden. Another idea that I use is to actually place furniture slides, which you can get at your home improvement store or perhaps something like Bed Bath & Beyond. They come in two different styles and they're either used for hardwood floors or carpeting. And they actually allow you to help push the tree back into place once you've decorated the back side and you can push it back into position without damaging the tree or the ornaments. Whether you're decorating a real or an artificial tree, take some time to prep the tree before you start adding ornaments. Especially with an artificial tree, you're gonna to need to fluff the branches and you wanna make sure that they look as real or as lifelike as possible. And a way to do that is to actually make sure that all of the branch tips point up just a little bit. It'll support the ornaments and it'll also give it a natural appearance. For depth, you're gonna to need to create pockets and you may need to cut a live tree to create those pockets. Artificial trees, you can actually flatten the branches so that you can actually put ornaments deeper into the tree instead of having them all float on the outside branch tips. You know, if you're still stringing lights on your tree, consider white lights for theme trees, but for depth and visual interest on a family style tree with your collected ornaments, layer white lights inside the tree while stringing a few colored lights on the outer branches. While many families nostalgically save the tree topper for last, I usually suggest that you place it first, especially if the tree's of any size like this one is. It's easier to anchor it in place without worrying about damage or fully decorated masterpiece. Before you even add the first ornament, I like to add some motion and interest to the tree, and I do that by inserting picks into the branches of the tree. These are more like a willow branch or something of that nature. These are obviously store-bought picks. If they're sturdy enough, you can actually hang your showcase ornaments from them and give them more presence on the tree. If you have a yard and you don't mind cutting your trees, you can skip this step by going out and harvesting some of the branches off of your tree, spray paint them the appropriate color to go with your theme, usually white, silver, red, or gold, and then you can use those in the tree instead of buying store-bought picks. Whether you're using an heirloom topper or some other type of tree topper, you can give it more presence by adding bows, streamers, sparkling picks or branches, things that protrude from the tree, create a focal point, and draw your eye into your tree topper. I like picking a color theme when I decorate a tree. It can serve as a base even for family style trees. I usually pick three coordinating colors like cream, red, and copper, and then mix in the collected ornaments after the filler ornaments have been placed. It's a good idea to add about 20 filler ornaments or colored ornaments per two vertical feet of tree, and then you can add 10 collected ornaments per two vertical feet of tree to fill in the space. And there you have it, you have a beautiful finished uh, tree for the holiday season. After the holidays, you can disassemble your creation the same way you assembled it, just reverse the steps. And don't forget to recycle cut trees by locating a center near you. Many municipalities have programs to mulch discarded trees or use them to create habitat. Chances are decorating a Christmas tree really isn't a mystery to you. Either you love it, it's a great family tradition, or it's the worst chore ever, you dread it more than those holiday shopping lines. Either way, I hope I've given you some ideas on how to spice up and maybe add some visual interest to your tree this holiday season. I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs. Thanks for joining me, and together we're gonna make the most of your good taste.